Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Kvation Engineering YouTube channel. All right. So today I took uh, the lesson number four, uh, General AT Chapter 24, uh, 27, uh, Flight Controls. So uh, this is the lesson number uh, four, and uh, in this lesson I'm going to teach about electronic flight control system presentation. Uh, so if you still not watch my previous videos uh, regarding uh, uh, AT Chapter 27 Flight Controls General Lesson, so you can watch through my playlist. So uh, and also if you still not subscribe uh, Kvision Engineering channel, please subscribe and uh, please share these videos with your friends, relatives, and uh, uh, anyone who like to learn about their channels. All right, so uh, now let's go to the lesson. All right, so uh, this is the lesson uh, 8 chapter 27, flight control, general lesson number four, electronic flight control system presentation. All right, okay, uh, let's go to the overview. Uh, in this lesson, you will explain the architecture and interface of the electrical flight control system. Okay, you can see in the uh, schematic diagram, so you can see the mechanical control over there and over there have the spoilers and here the ailerons right and uh, here the diverters right okay here the travel remitter u damper actuators uh, frac one uh, frac two right mechanical control running trim all right so i will discuss uh, the about these things in, uh, later in this uh, video all right so now let's go to the lesson content number one i'm going to talk about the surface number two actuators number three computers number four active service controls number five reconfiguration priorities right okay let's go to number one surface okay you can see the number surface okay all right so the flight control surfaces are hydraulically operated right the flight control surfaces are hydraulically operated by actuators which receive a electrical signal from the computer right remember the flight control surfaces are hydraulically operated by actuators which receives electrical signals from the computer so the rudder and the trimmable horizontal stabilizer in THS can also be mechanically controlled okay you can see over there right so uh, the flight control surfaces like the, the spoilers ailerons and the elevators okay are operated by actuators which uh, hydraulically operated by actuators which receive electrical from the computer all right okay now next one uh, actuator so uh, the actuators are hydraulically powered right actuators are hydraulically powered by one of the three hydraulic surfaces except the rudder trim actuator except the rudder trim actuator the rudder travel limitation actuator here the rudder travel limitation actuator and the ths servo motors right ths servo motors which are electrically driven okay just remember about this one Right, next one the computers okay so the relationship between the actuators and the computers is indicated on the schematic okay the relationship between the actuators and the computers is indicated on the schematic okay you can see right so the left and the right elevator actuators left and the right elevator actuators right here the left and the right elevator actuators are connected to two computers right the one is one elevator and elevator computers black and one spoiler and elevator computers right the next one the active server controls active server controls okay you can see the real picture the green and the blue the right hand alien server control right hand uh, the outside uh, server control is green and the inside is blue all right so uh, there are two server controls for each alien for each elevator and for the each your damping function remember there are two server controls for each aileron for each elevator and for the each your damping function so in normal configuration one server control activates the surface it is called active server control the second server control which follows the surface deflection in damping mode right okay so now, uh, yeah, only the manual pitch trim is available. Only the manual pitch trim is available. The centering mode is applied to the elevator. 
right? Remember the only the manual pitch trim is available. The centering mode is applied to the elevator. The actuators are hydraulically maintained in neutral position. Okay. All right. Now the last one, reconfiguration parrot reconfiguration reconfiguration parrot. So in some failure, in some failure, the damping server controls and the related computer are set to the active mode. Remember, in some failures, the damping server control and the related computer are set to the active mode. So here is what happens in case of blue hydraulic system failure. In this case, the blue hydraulic system is failure. You can see the damping mode. Now the green is active. Right here, the, in the spoilers also, the green one is uh, uh, failure. Right? Okay. Yeah, uh, that is the end of this lesson. Okay, so uh, thank you for participating in this lesson and uh, I hope uh, you get some general uh, knowledge about uh, the flight control surfaces. All right, so the next lesson, you will going to learn about uh, control low presentations and actually it's very important. So uh, if you still not, still not watch the previous videos regarding the GTA 7, uh, flight controls general please watch uh, through my playlist so I will arrange in according to the lesson 1, lesson 2, lesson 3 like this so uh, and also if you still not subscribe KVision Engineering channel please subscribe and please share these videos with your friends, relatives and anyone who like to learn about airport maintenance uh, alright so that's all for we will meet on next lesson have a good day for all of you